At the end of the last video, I was showing how you can make selections from one layer and then use that to delete from other layers because selections travel. You can also make changes to selections within your layer. So I'm on this layer. If I select around an element in that layer and then use the move tool, I can move that element independently. That doesn't make it a new layer. It's actually changing the pixels as I move it in that layer. And if I can move it, I can also free transform it. Control T. Angle it, scale it differently, warp it, all that good stuff. I'll do this with the little kind of hashtag. Maybe I'll just shrink that down. Control T to get a transform box. Hold down Shift to lock its proportions. Rotate by dragging outside of it. Push it out to the edge by using just the drag tool or by clicking inside the box. And then if I want to actually delete from it, it's rasterized, so I can do that. I can just take a chunk out of it with my lasso and delete. And if I want to kind of fine tune it, because we're not allowed to create pixels, but we are allowed to erase, I can always zoom in and cut away from it. And I can do that, though I'm kind of suggesting going layer by layer. I can do that at any time to any layer. Now, I don't know if you can tell from your screen, but you'll notice that some of my images are a darker black than others of my images. Like my screen grab from AutoDraw is a little bit grayer than some of the images I downloaded from Pixabay. So we're going we're gonna to see how we can make everything uniform. And solid black. And then we're going to see how we can do things like, once we're done with a black line composition, we're going to see how we can do cool things like um, fill it all in with a color or a pattern or something else. I'm going to delete some of these nitpicky things from the bullhorn graphic. And remember, this isn't a finished assignment, so you don't need to sweat all the little details for this. You're just getting a hang, a hang of the tools. And you can get full credit for just meeting all the requirements. It doesn't need to look like the most polished thing you've ever created. Next, I know I wanted this police cap in here somewhere. But I don't think I want like the face of the policeman or anything like that. So what's a way I can easily delete away? I would go with the lasso tool. Yeah, so if I just use the lasso and I just work with within the black line art of the fist, then I know it will empty it from, from that part. And there actually are some lines I kind of like from that policeman, like those little marks, which can start to read like the knuckles on the fist. So now I've made one big lasso selection. If I want to add to it, I can hold down shift, just like I did when I was using the magic wand. And I can erase away little chunks selectively. or select them to be erased. So it's going to keep some of those lines, but not all of them. And then hit delete. Oh, but I'm on the wrong layer. Remember, you can only affect the layer you have selected. There we go. 
So I'm keeping some of those police lines and not others. So I've got the bullhorn, my little action cartoony stuff, the police hat, the fist, got four layers. Now, how do I get these flames to work? For this, I'm gonna do something a little crazy, which I think is fun with this project. And I'm just gonna use the magic wand with contiguous turned on. And I'm gonna to go to um, the fist layer and just click within it. Hold down shift, select different shapes, and then delete that from the fire layer. Oh, that selected a little too much. <laughs> because basically the fire is overlapping way too much. So how can I help see what, what overlaps and what doesn't? Let's see. I can take the opacity down. So next to multiply, you'll have an opacity slider. And I can take it down to about 50%. And that way I can see what is fire and what are some of the others, the other features. And I can decide, okay, I don't want fire in the bullhorn at all. So I'm going to go to the bullhorn layer, use the magic wand, select the shapes inside the bullhorn. or at least that big shape, maybe that shape, maybe this shape, all the fingers. And then go to my fire layer and delete it, delete that selection from that layer. Then I think I can go further. So you can take selections from one and apply those selections to another layer. Seems like a simple thing, but it gets it takes some getting used to conceptually. And it beats just having to hand draw with the lasso all the time. And that's why we're doing kind of clean black and white line art, because it makes these magic wand selections much easier. Okay, other times though, we do need to select by hand. And even though the, the low opacity and the gray is really great, for this project, I want you to try to do everything in solid black first. So I'm not gonna leave it like that, even if I think it looks good, because I just wanna learn all the tools, learn how to do it properly first. Kind of like it coming from the finger there, but maybe not like this. I'm gonna erase these. Yeah, that's pretty readable. Okay, so now if I take it up to 100%, I can see what it looks like. And then I can decide, okay, I, yeah, I don't really want this one. Thought it would be cool, but it just looks messy. All right. So now I have an arrangement, but then I might make some final tweaks. Based on how things are overlapping, I might move this little hash mark somewhere.
maybe there. And I might move these lines. Control T. The reason I have you do five or more, there's several reasons for it, but one is that it's going to be a little bit, you know, more imagery than you can handle without making some strong decisions, you know, editing things out. And you might just have to keep cutting away from some of it. All right, so fine tune little examples. I'm going to cut away a little bit more from the bullhorn so that that hashtag is more visible. Give it some space behind it. And then refine these shapes, which were all in the same layer, which is why it interrupted them. but in a way I think is okay. Oh, wrong layer. So you'll learn a lot about your layer management through this, being aware of what layer you have selected. Maybe get rid of a little bit of the fire here. This looks a little fussy. And I'm liking the mixture of different styles. And the different you know, thicknesses and thinnesses of the line. Okay. So if this is my design in just black, how can I really optimize it? Well, before I do that, it's a good idea to save. And just save changes and that will update my file in downloads right there so now it's updated you can see how the lines have moved and it still has all these lines. It's still a PSD but you'll notice where some of these blacks are next to each other some look lighter some look darker so the next step is to get rid of of everything except the solid black lines and then to make sure they're all solid and black. So to do that, what I do is go to my very top layer, then go to layer options. Actually, go to the very top layer, hold down shift, and you can select multiple layers. So they're all selected. This is true in Photoshop and in Photopea. Then go to your layer options and don't click anything yet. We're going to hit merge layers, but we're going to do it while we're holding our option alt button. So just option. Because if I click merge layers without holding down option, it gets rid of all my layers and puts them into one layer. But if I, if I hold down Option while I do it, with all the layers selected, then it does this beautiful thing, which is combine them all into a new layer on the top. So I've kept all my resources, but I've also combined it into one image. And we want to combine it into one image, because that makes it really easy to actually delete all of the white on normal mode. So I'm going to keep that new image on normal mode. You see it's all there, all in one. Then I'm going to use my magic wand, and I'm going to turn off contiguous and click somewhere on the white so that all white pixels are selected with a 32.